When we were looking at what KDA could be, it was a bit of a challenge because we knew nothing about making K-pop music. But at the same time, we thought this was a great opportunity to surprise players as far as like what we could make for people. About two years ago in China, we had a really cool performance at Worlds. And that really struck a chord with a lot of people at Riot. When a lot of our team came back, we found out that Worlds 2018 was in Korea. A bunch of different rioters were kind of these hidden K-pop fans. So it was kind of cool to see everybody's eyes and ears perked up like, why don't we make a music video? And then put dance choreography in there. And maybe lean into K-pop a bit. But we knew nothing about it in terms of how to make K-pop music. We had experience recording people and making songs. This was a whole new genre. But we thought there's just this really cool opportunity for us to deliver an impactful experience to players. And so for us, the research was like living and breathing it, going hours down a YouTube portal and see what's going on in that industry. K-pop is such a wide genre of music. It goes from ballads to hip-hop, regular pop. It was like, there's so many different flavors of K-pop. Are we doing the right one? So we needed to figure out all of that together, and it was difficult. So there are multiple levels of people working on KDA. People on the skins, on the music side, on the campaign itself. And we went through so many concept iterations to find the tone that we wanted to hit for KDA. Early on in the process, a lot of people referenced the old popstar thematic. So the first iterations were too cute, too bubblegum. It felt like a concept we would have released in 2013, but not 2018. I think from this, the gears started turning in our heads as far as what could be. We started asking ourselves, what if this was a sequel to Popstar? Like, what would Ari be now? What is that next level in this kind of solo star to wanting to start her own group? What would that look like in a really cool modern twist? If you're looking at pop artists, K-pop artists currently, you see a trend in empowered women that all feel really strong. So the music team did a pass at it, which was just instrumental. We tried different kinds of vibes, different tempos, different types of energies, just to see where the overall feel of the track could go into. We wanted something singable, hard-hitting, something that makes you feel good when you listen to it, that kind of gets you pumped up. So some of the sounds were partly influenced by hip-hop. So the different types of kick drums, the sound of the bass. There's kind of a melodic line behind the beat. And then the pitched kind of vocal, it kind of says like, hey. I would say those were the core kind of ideas melodically. Hearing it for the first time, like there was something special about that. The team was very excited and people started to believe that we could actually do KDA like we had it in mind. Even our art lead was humming the beat of the song itself and he was really into it. From there, they're creating the skins and the initial art and the music video itself. The live performance element as well as choreography and all the content that needs to be created. So the demo really helped identify like what KDA is. So because everyone was caring so, so much for the project overall, everyone gave their extra 10% that we really need for a project like that. I think a lot of the stuff were things we had to learn because we haven't done it before. And so what helps is having a passion for what we were trying to do. And hopefully it's also the same thing that players love.